I'm up in the dusty end of the... Yeah, you ran out. Wow. I'm glad I stopped when I did. <laughs> oh, this is great. Um, here in Nashville with uh, a gentleman who is um, real. I mean, he's royalty, yeah, this man. <laughs> he really is, Mr. Tom Bresh. And uh, it's great to see you again. Yeah, you too. We've been friends for quite a long time. We first I, know, met I remember him in France. you and you had your long, beautiful... Girls were all crazy about his long red <laughs> ponytail, this thick like a like a mane of a horse. Yeah, well, it, 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 unfortunately, you know, we, I was starting to look like the oldest hippie in town, so I had to kind of. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying to reverse the process now. Yeah, me know. too. Yeah, but, uh, now, <clears throat> we've got to ask you, of course, sure. ask you about your father, about Merle, Merle Travis. Merle Travis, Elrum Seibert, backwards. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I was Mott Hesser, but he's Elrum Seibert. What's your, what's your name backwards? Uh, Elrum Am I? Er, yours. Mott Hesser. Oh, I'm really at Titram. Are you? Yes. Should I, should I refer to you as Roliat? <laughs> <well yet? laughs> Travis always approached everything from the back, forward. It's funny. I, I've noticed that throughout my life and through stories I've heard and everything. Like he'd tell me, he says, Mott. He'd always call me Mott. He's Mott. When you, ever, when you write a song, do you just start like writing words and, and oh, I woke up and it was a beautiful day or, or, or in limericks or anything? He said, always write the ending first. Did he? Yeah. That's very interesting. He said, always. Then, then you know where you're going. So you can take people down so. back roads and around, scare them. Or just, it's just like if you write a screenplay, write your ending first so you, you, you can... Lee, yeah. you know where you're going, but the, the listener or the watcher doesn't. So you're not going, you're not rambling on a, uh, a, a journey where... No, you know, he's you says, know where you, the... it's not like you can't write a great song just by starting in or inspiration. Mm -hmm. But he said, uh, it was easy when I said, he said, I used to say to my mom, oh, I'd look in the catalog, you know, the, the Sears and Roebuck catalog. He said, we yeah. used to have those. And I looked, say, look at that bicycle. I'd like to have yeah. one of those. And... Of course, uh, he was raised around the coal mines and the coal camps yeah. in Kentucky. And he says, my mom always used to say, oh, honey, we can't afford that. We owe our soul to the company store now. Because the only place you would, you would work for these things called flickers, which are little coins that you could only spend at the coal, particular coal mines company store. And they never paid you quite enough. So you were always in debt to the company store. That way you'd have to keep working for them. Yeah, it was like a, a vicious circle. Well, that happened too in the the, the coal mining area where, where I lived for a long time in in Scotland, where they they had ex exactly so the, the same, same system. Yeah, that so you could only only really bought things in the store. Huh. So Travis said, "There's there's this line," and he says, uh, "Capital Records says write folk songs," and Travis said, "I try to explain to him, you don't write a folk song, people." make them up, that's why they're called folk songs. Mm. And the record company, being like all record companies, we don't care about that. People are buying folk songs, so write yeah. folk songs. So he said, that's how, why I wrote that. That was the ending first. 
I owe my soul to the company store. Can you do a bit of it? So then, then backing yeah. off from that, yeah. sure. You load 16 times. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Well, St. Peter, don't you call me, because I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Yeah. So that was that. And then he said, I made up a bunch of stupid verses, none of which can be done. Born one morning, it was drizzling rain. Fighting and trouble were my middle names. I was raised in a cane break by an old mama lion. Ain't no high tone woman make me walk the line. Can't do any of that. Born <laughs> one morning when the sun didn't shine. Travis said, the sun shines every morning or there's trouble. Of some kind you can count on. So he said, I never did like that song until Tennessee Ernie Ford sold about five million copies. He said, then it became my favorite folk song of all time. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So, but it was always approach everything from the back. They have a silly game at a place out here where... A lot of people eat called the Cracker Barrel. Oh yeah, it's it's a triangle. I've seen that with a bunch of holes and golf tees in it. One hole is open, and I was sitting over there. There's probably ten of us eating there one mm. morning, and I'm over there jumping these things. And ah oh, man, I'd cuss and I'd put them back in. I'd try two, three times. Travis finally said, "What are you cussing and carrying on about?" I said, "Well, this thing. What's the object?" I said, "You're supposed to leave like one. Mm. Then you're smart. I'm leaving four and all that." And he looks around like somebody's going to hear him. He says. Do it backwards in your mind. Don't, don't tell anybody. I said, what are you talking about? Do it backwards in your mind. Look, just look at it and, and instead of going front. Yeah. Say where you want it to end and, and then trace it backwards. So that's the same process. I said, go ahead. You know, I don't get it. Go ahead. He said, I said, yeah, make it land right here. And I'd show another thing right here. All right. Well, the, you, uh, you'd have to, this one. I'd have to start with this one open right over here. Yeah, whatever. Go ahead. I want it to end up right here. Yeah. And he started in. Two, 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 two. And he goes, look, look at my Right there. Yeah. I'm cheating. I'm doing it backwards. But don't. Oh, yeah. I never did get that concept. <laughs> Do you get it? Uh, well, can you look at a bunch of those things and, and figure it out backwards? No, I, no, because well, I, I, I couldn't remember it. I wouldn't be able to remember. No. But I understand the, the concept of it. Well, makes, I understand makes the perfect. concept. Yeah, but doing I, it's another thing. I wouldn't be able to do that. He must have had an incredible memory. You know, must have had a, uh, you know, could retain a lot of information. He must. Yeah, have I mean that's to. that was his way. I mean, he was. Everybody has always said. Uh, Chet Atkins used to tell me. He says. He says, I think Travis says that's the way Chad talks, don't you know? He says, I yeah. think, I can't tell a story without doing somebody's voice. He says, I think Merle's probably the, uh, one of the few, I think he's the only genius I really know. He's a genius, you know, he's, he, and anything he does, he can fix your watch. He fixed my grandfather clock with a, with a fork. <laughs> and I said, don't touch that thing, that belongs. And he said, I know what I'm doing. And he goes, there and fill right. I need a fork. And, and some pliers. And he's thinking, <laughs> he bit that fork on the helm, bit that thing, and did some things. That thing's still ticking in there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but I hear you playing. I see people, I, I, I see the influence of these young players that are, that are playing Martin Taylor style, you know? Yeah, it's funny. I, I do hear you know, a lot of Chet style players, some of the younger players as well. And I, I hear a little bit of, of, of myself in that, and which I, it is really. It's really nice. I've heard a few uh, people playing this time while I was here. And yeah, it was funny. That's really I, nice when that happens. I was sitting outside just messing around the other night before I had to do my show, and I was out there just getting my hands loose and singing and carrying on and get kind of in that mood, and I was doing, You make me feel so young. You make me feel like spring has sprung. Yeah. I was doing that, and I said, Oh, you play like Martin Taylor. <laughs> I said, Not on purpose, I did. <laughs> hey, that's great, great. But I did that, I said, Yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> That's, hey, why don't we, why don't that's we, as close as I can get to that. Well, let's play something together then. Let's, let's do something. Do you play that song? I don't know. What we what do we play? Anything. You want, to, you want to play one of these hillbilly songs and put your stuff to it? Well, I'll see if I can. If you're I talking can. about Travis, we do this. Roll on, buddy. Don't you roll so slow. Buddy was a mule, by the way. He was talking to his mule. Yeah. How can I roll when the wheels won't go? And here's your good Travis Lick. Yeah. Well, a nine-pound hammer, it's a little too heavy for my size, for my size. I'm going on a mountain, gonna see my baby. I ain't coming back, no, I ain't coming back. 
Won't you roll on, buddy? Don't you roll so slow? How can I pull when the wheels won't go? Yeah, roll on, buddy. Oh, you load of coal. How can I pull when the wheels won't go and Travis would go yeah. like this? Thank you. 